Hello everybody, my name is Colleen Minning and I am a paparazzi independent consultant. Um, I would like to show you how I created a, a travel box for my twirly ties. Um, I'm going to kind of show you how I did it, what, what I used to make it, and um, what a twirly, tw twirly tie is. It's kind of hard to say. Um, so some of you guys may already know what this is, but some may not. Um, <clears throat> a, little, a twirly tie is this really great little, um, it's actually a men's tie holder that um, holds 20 necklaces. It's amazing. It's great. It's a great way to um, transport your jewelry to events and home parties and things like that. Um, it's a great way to store your jewelry at home if you're, um, e even if it's just for yourself, if you're, you're storing your own necklaces um, or, you know, for your displays. It, I use them for um, my events and I actually have, I use pegboard, but I use twirly ties too because a lot of people like to shop from your jewelry this way. Some people don't, so I, I like to have both different ways. Um, to display my jewelry that way people you know are comfortable shopping in all different ways um, but this is a really great really great way to um, display your your items and you can use these actually for bra uh, bracelets or earrings too um, you know obviously just be smaller but you know I think it's a really great way to to display your long necklaces so <clears throat> The question a lot of people have is how do you transport your jewelry like this? So when I put my jewelry on a twirly tie, I leave it on there. I don't set these up each time for events. I leave it on the twirly tie and I, I transport it um, already done. So when you take it out, you just hang it right up. And I'm going to show you um, the rack that I use. Um, this, I'm going to swing the camera around real quick here. This is a, um, clothes rack. I don't know if you can see that very well. This is a clothes rack. Um, it's got the bar on the bottom or in the middle, actually in the, and a bar on the top. These open and close so you can actually expand them and actually put more twirly ties out here. Or better yet, if you have like um, a mannequin, like the half um, forms that you can hang, they are great to hang up here as well. Um, that way you can put some clothes on them and then you can dress it up with a, a necklace. But this is how I display my long necklaces at my events on one of these clothes racks. Now, these you can get at uh, Walmart or Target or any of the, the department type or discount type stores actually Shopco, all kinds of places. Um, they're like $15 and they come with wheels, uh, little casters, but I take my wheels off because um, I don't want them to be able to be moved. It's sturdier without the casters on, so I leave them on that way. So um, this is how I display my, one of my displays for my, my events. Sometimes I put, you know, one of these down here and I can put the bust the mannequin right in the middle so you have them flanked on the sides of your mannequin which looks nice um, so lots of different ways you can use this you could take maybe some ribbon and put your hair clips in here um, lots of different ideas for for those but um, the question is how do you transport those and not get them tangled up and a lot of people use um, coffee cups I, I've shown you um, ways that you can transport them in a different video you can buy um, the big round uh, tub type things at Dollar Tree and you can you know drill a hole in the center and, and put the little hoop through there and that's great but that's you know you're carrying one twirly tie per coffee can or per oatmeal container um, so that takes up a lot of space so what I've done is I created this box now um, you can do any size of tote box that you want um, you know you can if you only have three or four of these you could do small tote boxes even if you want to um, it's really up to you I like this one and I don't know if you can see let me see if I can show you how deep that is can you see that 
I like the deeper um, type of box just because then, you know, you don't have your twirly tie um, kind of bunched, the stuff just bunched up on the bottom of the box. Um, they hang a little bit more. They do still bunch up. You can see, I mean, it's, it's still not tall enough for them to hang completely, but they don't tangle nearly as much as they would if they were in a short box. So taller is better in, in this instance. Um, but with my box, I'll show you. This is how I transport them. So you can see, um, I've already got some twirly ties in here. And so there's three per dowel. These are just little dowel rods. You can get those in any size that you want as well. I think this is a really good size um, to hang them on. But I can do three per dowel. I've got four dowel, dowels here. So I can actually take 12, actually more than that if I really cram them in, the, in there. Um, but I can take four, or I mean 12 twirly ties in one tote box. So it's really great for um, saving space and um, only having to carry one thing into the event versus several of the little um, like oatmeal containers or something like that. So, um, and then what I do is I just take a simple Walmart bag or wherever, and this is super easy too. So if I'm gonna pack these up, I literally just take the bag Drop it right in there. I loop it around, loop it around again, just like that. And then, sorry, having to move this all the time. And then you drop it in and just hang it right on the dowel. And that's it, it's so easy. So, um, and then it makes really quick work to unwrap them at each event too. I mean, literally you pull it out, take the bag off, and hang it up and you're done. So super easy. So what I've done, and don't mind the little holes on the sides here. When I first started paparazzi, I had the little um, peg hooks, and this is another idea you can use. Um, I, I love this idea way better, but you can do this. I drilled a bunch of little holes here, and I would put the, the peg hooks on the inside of the box, and so um, there was peg hooks all the way around the inside and I'd hang my necklaces there. But those are individual necklaces and I'd have to take them off and hang them on each of my pegs when I got to the event. It was a bit time consuming. So um, this is so much better. I love the twirly tie uh, display. So um, what I've done is I've taken the dowel. I don't know if I can get this off. Yeah, I can. I know that's kind of tight. <laughs> Let's see if I've got one that's a little looser that I could take out. No, they're all tight. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. They're, they're too tight to take out. So I've drilled holes in the box here um, that are big enough to fit whatever dowel you have. So um, you just take the drill bit, drill right in there so that your dowel fits in. And you can see from here. So this is the dowel just stuck right through both holes. And then I got the little rubber feet. They're, they're actually meant to go on the bottoms of your um, chair to keep you know your, your floors from being scratched. And I literally just put those on the edges just like that to keep the dowels in place. Um, I've got these in tight enough that it's probably not really necessary to have those but I like to have them because um, it's just extra security and you know it's if you bump into it it's rubber versus wood um, but just uh, you know whatever size dowel you get that you want in your box you just want to have the the hole tight enough to where it's snug in there it's not going to be moving around or twisting around so that your stuff doesn't go all over the place and um, I'm gonna give you some measurements of what I've done. So, of course, this is gonna be different for everybody because it depends on the box that you buy. But for mine, I've got them spaced off about 
looks like about five inches um, per peg, so or per uh, dowel, so that that way you know they fit really easily inside, and I don't have to really do too much finagling to get them in there. Um, and then I could give you a kind of an idea. My tote, this one is 19 inches tall. Um, it's 17 inches wide that way and two feet this way. So um, it's a really great size box. I don't know if you can find one exactly like this, but like I said, you really can use just about any, any tote box that you have. Um, for this and then like I said if you've got a smaller tote box maybe you only have room for two dowels I mean it's it's totally up to you as to what you want to use but um, it's really great all I have to do is I've got the snappy handles and that's all I have to take in for my whole entire twirly tie display it's awesome I love it so I hope this has um, helped you um, out a little bit and giving you some ideas of how you can make your own um, twirly tie transportation box. Okay, I've got bees out here. I'm outside and I got bees and I got hungry horses. Um, so anyway, um, if you have any questions at all, um, feel free to message me. Um, my email will be on the in the description of the video. And um, if you love the video, make sure you, you share it and, and give it a thumbs up. I appreciate any feedback. That would be wonderful. And um, if you'd like to check out my website, you can do that as well. It's um, www.bedazzlemepretty.com. I do have this on um, my blog there. I've got a couple other ideas for displays that you might want to check out as well. And um, if you are not a paparazzi consultant and you're thinking of joining paparazzi um, definitely check out my website and um, kind of read up on on some of the information I have on there I've got some great information on it um, feel free to message me if you have questions I would love to um, help you get started in your business journey paparazzi is awesome and I love it so I'd love to have you on my team all right well thank you so much for watching I hope you found this useful all right bye bye